CDTE Solar Sales. Welcome to Decreations Resources. While talking about the second generation solar cells, one prominent name comes up and that is of cadmium telluride solar cells, which is CDTE. Now, it was this particular technology was first introduced in 1972 when Bonnet and Rabenhaus designed the CDS CDT heterojunction that allowed the manufacturing of CDT solar cells. At first, the efficiency was very less, it was just around 6%, but gradually it has been increasing and it's now more than triple of that. Now, there are several important, uh, well known companies as well who are doing research in this area because it's a uh, one of the most important thin film solar panel technology, CDT solar cells make use of semiconductors. In particular, they are made by using PN heterojunctions containing a P-doped cadmium telluride layer and N-doped cadmium sulfide, that means CDS layer. So CDT, CDS, that is the combination. And um, sometimes even magnesium zinc oxide can also be used. Now these materials are actually cheap but there being cadmium cadmium is toxic so that is one disadvantage that is there due to cdt so there are there's work going on in order to replace cadmium now there are other materials like fluorine doped in oxide sno2f or zinc telluride copper etc which also need to be used here because uh, if you look at a typical CDT solar cell you will see that on the topmost is the glass of course below that there is a um, layer of SNO2 CD2 SNO4 then there is CDS layer then CDT layer and then you have electrode which could be copper basically it contains a photovoltaic material a conductive sheet and a protective layer and each one of them play their own role in order to manufacture it there are different deposition techniques that are used and uh, there could be use of sputtering chemical spray pyrolysis electro deposition or uh, a method called closed vapor transport etc now of course the most important aspect in the cdt solar cell is the photovoltaic material and uh, that is essentially going to convert the solar radiation into electric electricity and uh, this is manufactured by creating a pn heterojunction as mentioned earlier uh, there is deposition of layer of cdt for the p-dope section and one of cds or mzo can is used as n-doped section so together they form this pn junction now a conductive sheet is used in order to allow the electricity to flow between solar cells. Now increasing the voltage and also for allowing for connection of CDT panels into PV systems. So these layers require the deposition of a metal layer or carbon paste and introducing copper to create conduction in the panel. And then there is protective layer. So photovoltaic layers tend to be fragile. And that's why thin film solar panels require a protective layer. Instead of using aluminium frame and tempered glass, uh, a layer of TCO can also be used, transparent conducting oxide, about which we have already spoken. And so this TCO layer is of course made by depositing the tin oxide, SNO2 uh, fluorinated or a similar metal material and uh, the TCO layer is where the CDT absorber is deposited allowing the solar cell to be fully protected. If you compare these with other thin film solar panels like uh, for example amorphous silicon solar panels then you would see that the efficiency of CDT solar panels is more than them um, but at the same time, amorphous silicon panels are cheaper and uh, if you are concerned about toxicity, even they are less toxic as compared to CDT. So there are both advantages as well as disadvantages. Then another popular system is copper indium gallium selenide, CIGS. 
so these solar panels of course since they do not include a toxic material like cadmium they are less toxic than cdt um, now these panels also have some disadvantages as compared to cdt because the efficiency is less as compared to cdt and the production is also costly as compared to cdt so different applications may require certain kind of solar cells like if the solar panels are to be used in windows cigs are the preferred system now another uh, system is gallium arsenide and here the efficiency is more as compared to cdt solar panels but at the same time they are very expensive gallium arsenide is less toxic than cdt again mentioning about application gallium arsenide solar panels are more preferred for uh, space applications so cdt solar panels come with their own advantages they are cheap they are lightweight they have high efficiency they are resistant and they are easy to manufacture and hence they are preferred for some applications but the major disadvantages of toxicity so there is a continuous search for alternative materials